everyone. Today I'm back to share um, a cute um, couple of planners with you. Um, I made these using um, my um, laminator. So um, they're pretty much the same. So I'm going to share this one with you. This one's got a couple of paper clips in. So the papers I've used is from the Echo Park. And you've most probably seen this in um, other previous videos. Um, I've just stuck um, a couple of stickers from that collection on the front, cute little bats um, and that and then the back I've left plain, this is the papers, they're really nice, I like the papers from this collection um, and I've pretty much used most of it now, getting to the last few bits. Um, so yeah, um, the elastic on the side of this album I picked up from Tiger. Um, I've used white on this one and I think I've used black on this one, both from Tiger, as well as this um, elastic closure. This is really pretty, um, black and silver one. Um, they had other colours in there, but I thought this is quite Halloween-y. So I picked that up again from Flying Tiger. Inside, I've made a couple of shakers. I've not actually done any of this before in planners. Um, these pockets I picked up from Hobbycraft a while ago. They're the um, scrapbooking uh, pockets. I'm trying to think of the name of them, but I will try and leave the link if they still sell them in Hobbycraft down below in the description box. Um, I used one of my bottle cap charms just to attach it with a bit of um, baker's twine at the top. It's really cute how it hangs. Um, on the other one, I've actually done it on the outside. So you can use them either inside the panel or outside. Um, so that's the one part of the shaker. I just used um, all my seat, you know, um, confetti, kind of Halloween confetti. Again, the booklets. I think these booklets I picked up from, I want to say Primark. Um, I couldn't tell you. They had covers on them. I've just taken the, removed the covers of them. Um, and I've not attached, so you can add other booklets um, and use this all like year round sort of thing or, or next Halloween you can just replace the booklets. Um, papers and cut out pieces from the collection. Just made one of these little th foam paper clips from, um, I think I've shared this in a haul. Um, cut out piece from that collection. That's one notepad. I've just put two. So this is, I think, lined and the other one's um, plain. And then, again, another one of these little paper clips. I just attached it to the top here. It says, Happy Halloween. Um, again, another two shaker pockets. There, this one's got little skulls in. And that one's got the other ghosts, um, pumpkins, um, bats. Yeah, it's got various Halloween bits in it. And then this is the other booklet. Again, it's got a cut out piece and it's got a little ghost paper clip top there. And these are foam. I've backed those with foam on the back. Um, and this is plain booklet. And that's it. That's the back. So that's that one. Um, and then the next one I have to show you is pretty much the same, done the same way. It's got. Um, a uh, charm on the side on the outside same closures um, except I've used black um, elastic again some of the stickers and then another shaker booklet I haven't put paper clips in this one the other shaker and then that booklet so it's kind of a lot more simple this one and that's it guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you have any questions um, please leave them in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care guys, bye.